it into our attention. Thank you very much. Thank you. Rock and roll. Yeah, we're going to wrap up very shortly. Yeah, well, thank you everyone again. On behalf of my work, fine, so fine. Why don't you call me, baby? Why don't you call me? I had the best time of my life. Had a bit of mysteries. Where there's a dream. to look at the overrepresentation of black African and, and black Caribbean communities in the mental health system at the more severe end of the spectrum. That is, for example, the in forensic mental health services where you've got mental health illness and, a, and, some, a, and committed a criminal offence, over 90% of the population of those um, hospitals are black people. When you look, sorry, excuse me, please, I really want to get this across. You've just experienced uh, 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 an event which is about improving mental health awareness in our communities. And I'm here to tell you about how you can get involved in actually making sure that that happens. This is a very, very serious event that took here today because it's about how the community can work together to make sure that together it improves the mental health experience of our communities. So what we've done in Lambert is uh, a, a get together a set of recommendations. There's over 40 of them and they focus on improving, uh, getting uh, uh, training out to our communities so that they can understand and recognize mental health sim symptoms. So that you can recognize early symptoms of depression, symptoms of schizophrenia, skit symptoms of manic depression. And I want to be able to get that out there into the communities. And I perceive that the people who attended today are part of that network of community leaders that can assist us in making sure. Please, I, I find it really difficult to talk. I, I find it really difficult to talk on such an important and vital subject when other people are talking at the same time. I'm just asking for five minutes of your time. Yeah? So what we're trying to do is to get the get people on board to help me to deliver these recommendations. So some of it is, is about you operating as community leaders so that you can network into your community by sharing the information. One of the real problems within our community is that we don't communicate with one another about how to help one another and we don't get the information out there to help one another. So there are a lot of people struggling unnecessarily within our communities and end up in mental health services, being dragged off the street, literally, unnecessarily because if they got help early then they wouldn't be put in such a, 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 a severe position so we need to work together to, in order to achieve that there are these leaflets that I'm distributing around that means if you put your name on a database on this database I can make sure that the information gets out there to you so one of the first recommendations there across prevention and then improving um, access to mental health services such as talking therapies yeah, and then improving the patient experience across three uh, particular areas. Yeah, so one of the first set of uh, recommendations is about um, getting mental health first aid training out there. So if you put your name on this, 
I can make sure that you get access to information about accessing that. Sorry. There you go. So this set of recommendations was developed between um, myself as co-chair of the, of the commission and uh, the NHS, the police, uh, carers, service users, community leaders, wholly different stakeholders got together and did a very serious piece of work over six months and developed a report. There is a report, if you put your name on this thing and, and, and leave it and email uh, the contact there with your details, you will get a copy of the report and you will have an opportunity to be, to be networked into something which is taking positive action to take this forward. What's the email and, and the, the email, address? The, the email is on here, it's ecarter.lambeth.gov.uk. Yeah, that's the email. If, if you'd prefer to leave your name with me, your email address on a piece of paper, then I will also make sure that that happens. But somehow, we have to come away from such a wonderful event, continuing to take action. It, this, is, this, is a, it, this is so important that we continue to uh, spread the information out there and just don't hold it to ourselves but share it amongst our community so that we really, really actually do empower our community. I say this as somebody who's a service user and who's been a carer for, for the past 30, de 30 years, three decades. I have three siblings who've had severe injury and mental health, health, health issues. Yeah, my brother died last year, my youngest brother died last year. When people were talking up there on the panel about their personal experiences, I was like, I, I was like, yes, this is, we have to start talking real. We have to stop pretending that this is not an issue that doesn't affect like a brother, a sister, a cousin, a, 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 a neighbor, a friend. And we need to be able to help one another in improving this matter. We're in an era now of, it's political. We're in an era now whereby uh, the cuts to public services are ruthless. Why are they so? Because this government is cutting resources to local authorities. Yeah? So some of the cuts you haven't even experienced yet. No. I'm there in, 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 the, in, in the local authority and some of the decisions that are being made I know will impact even more detrimentally on our community. So that means that from now we need to even it's even more important that we get involved in trying to help our our community because later on down the line when the cuts really bite in you won't have the skills to be able to support them because the resources really won't be there so it's time to do it now the other thing that somebody mentioned up there which is absolutely critical that we deal with we need to be more politically active mm -hmm. i'm in there and some of my meetings <laughs> in there and i don't see and there's only me how can this be how can it be that there's only me as a black woman right in there trying to make decisions that are for the betterment of the local community and i don't have the local the local black community yeah. in there with me so when i start talking about well how is this going to impact on on certain communities around equalities in terms of people with disabilities or people who uh, 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 of race and eth ethnicity right i'm the lone voice and i'm the lone voice because i don't have the backup of the local community we need to be more politically savvy if you don't vote in national government and you don't attend parliament, you're not, they're not interested in you. Cameron isn't interested in you. If you don't vote locally and you're not active attending local uh, meetings, you, 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 they, they're not interested in you. The people who they're interested in are the people who actually participate because they know those are the voices that they have to cater for. All the rest of them who are silent, no interest. You're, you're invisible. So I'm here to tell you that this is this also is very important for our mental health to actually be involved. I see some of my local players who are actually present today. Yeah, and what I'm saying is that don't please let this be a one-off where we name? don't utilize Sol 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 Solomon. Yeah, it's a Brixton Soup Kitchen. Right. Don't let this be a one-off where you, you go home and you have a nice uh, bath and you say, yeah, we had a lovely day today, and you're not networked into taking positive action forward. Yeah? Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Yeah, this is the patient.